Hi, welcome to Fast Panda Gaming and what's the start of a six part series focusing on Operation Crimson Stone. So this is going to be aimed mostly at people who've picked up Operation Crimson Stone with the intention of getting into Code 1 and Infinity. If you're a veteran player, there's possibly not going to be too much in this series for you, but please stick around, give it a watch anyway, be appreciated. So. You've, you've picked up Crimson Stone, you decide to start trying out Code 1 and Infinity. First of all, welcome to a wonderful game universe and a wonderful game system. It's brilliant, you're going to love it. Uh, we're going to play through all five missions that come in Operation Crimson Stone and talk you through how Infinity works as a game and play through each of the missions with the rules that are in them and the models that are in them so that you can learn how the game works without having to just read it and try and understand it. And then once we've played those five missions, we're going to finish off by playing a game of Code 1 using the Ariadna and Nomads and a few of the models that we've picked up over the years to make a, a full list. <clears throat> so, that's what this series is going to be about. And we're going to start today by jumping into Mission 1, which is called Drill. And go through a bit of the background of the two factions involved, with some nice pictures dropped in of the painted models and bits and pieces, so they won't be our models, they'll be the official Corpus Belly ones, because ours aren't that good. Um, you speak for yourself, mine are cool. <laughs> I'll put yours up next to Anne Hell's and you can tell me whose is better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you completely throw my train of thought. Sorry. It's alright. So, factions, yes. Crimson Stone comes with Nomads and Ariadna. Now, I'm going to be playing as Ariadna. Uh, we are here to try and make a asteroid disappear from all records because we don't want anyone mining this asteroid because it's very rich in metals that will completely disrupt our economy. Claw is playing the Nomads who are members of the spacefaring human nation and they are the security forces on this station and uh, they're going to be trying to stop us doing what we need to do. Um, Clock Station is where these missions are set. It is a hub in an asteroid mining belt and all the terrain you need to play these missions and the mat to play them on comes in the box. It's a great starter pack to get you started in the game. Uh, as always from Corvus Valley, wonderful, wonderful product. So for mission one, what you're going to need is a tape measure. You're going to need the 20 sided dice that come in the box. Wonderful dice. Um, Far better than a D6. Um, uh, you will need three models that, for both sides. So in this case, it's the Aguasils for the Nomads and the three Rockots for um, Ariadna. You will need the tray and the mat that comes in the box. Dead simple to put together, isn't it, Claw? Yep. Um, lay it out as is shown in the book and that. Uh, then you're pretty much ready to play. Now, I think before we get into the game properly, we'll quickly talk through the profiles so that we can use the uh, summaries as we move forward. So, the profiles. So, across the top, you can see a little green circle with an arrow. That's your order type. So, and these ones are all going to be regular orders. That will be important later. Um, but for now, let's do that. Then we've got the stat line. So, there's a number of statistics for each Infinity model. But there is MOV, which is move, which is how far the model can move. And that number underneath is indicated in inches. The reason there are two numbers is because you could move twice and some models have different values for the first time they move and the second time they move. Next up is CC, which is close combat. This is the target number you're going to be looking for if you're engaged in melee with somebody. You're trying to punch them in the face. Next up is Ballistic Skill, BS, how good a shot they are, the target number you're going to be looking for if you're using your guns. Next, PH, which is Physique, which is their general fitness and, and stuff that each will be used um, if they are punching someone, how much damage they will do if they're punching somebody. Uh, next up, WIP, Whip, which is their willpower, which is used for turning on consoles and that sort of stuff. Won't come up much in this initial game. Next up, we've got two different stats for armour. We've got ARM, which is the physical armour, which if they're hit by a bullet or a grenade or something, that's what they're going to be using to help absorb the damage. 
and then BTS or biotechnical shielding, which will help against special damage like EM or viral or any sort of weird technical attacks. Next, we have W, which stands for wounds, which is how much damage they can take. When you're reduced to zero, you will be unconscious. Next up is S for silhouette, which is the volume that the model takes up. So when look resolving line of sight, um, silhouette is used to help determine exactly where the model is. And last up is AVA, which is availability, which comes into play when you're building a list. And we'll talk about that in more detail when we get to the proper code one game at the end. So we're going to make the initiative roll. To do that, we're going to do what's called a face to face roll. We're both going to roll 1d20 and we're looking to get equal to or less than the whip willpower of our troopers. Now, it's called a face to face roll because it's an opposed test. You're both rolling for your target number, but the highest dice roll that passes succeeds. So if I roll a 10, but Claw rolls an 11, Claw will win even though we both passed. If I roll a 16 and you roll a 15, we both have to re-roll because we both failed. Which happens a lot. <laughs> um, Face-to-face -face rolls are one of the core mechanics of Infinity, and we're going to be coming back to them a lot as we go through this game. But we'll just talk about it briefly now, so you've got the rough idea of what we're about to do. Okay, your uh, willpower is 13. 13. Mine is 13, keep it nice and simple. And uh, let's uh, let's roll that dice. Let me roll my Nomad Whip, which is 13. A 1! Officially, I pass. So I need to get more than 1 and less than 13. Or I can get a 19 and fail completely. So you failed. So that face-to-face -face roll has been won by Claw. Who On a, a choice 1. Of going first or second. What do you want to do? Well, in this mission it is just a case of first and second. The further missions get a bit more complicated. So uh, you're quite a way away. And I think I would like to go second. You'd like to go second? Yes. Okay then. So I'll go first. And I'm going to try and shoot those pesky aguacile. So, start of the Ariadna turn. It's a good time to talk about orders. In Code 1, you get a number of orders equal to your troops. So, in this case, I've got three troops. One, two, three. I've got three orders. Now, I can spend these orders in any way I like on these three troops. So, I could spend all three orders on one of them. I could spend one on each, so on and so forth. But once I've spent all three orders, I'm done. And it's Claw's turn. This doesn't mean that Claw can go and have a cup of tea while I take my turn, because every time I spend an order, every single one of Claw's models that can see what I'm doing gets what's called an ARO, an Automatic Reaction Order. And he can either shoot at me, or he can dodge in this scenario. There's not a lot of other options. As you get into um, the game in more detail, there are other options. Yeah, this is, uh, this is your turn, Stormshroud, but it's my reactive turn. So it's a constant, we constantly play. I'm looking out for opportunities to shoot Storm Shroud in his go, because you can do this in, in this game, uh, which is always funny, because if your if my guy sees your guy, I'm not going to stand here and just do a saving throw. I'm going to shoot back or dodge. Because that's what I do. Right, so I've got to try and get across there and shoot him without being seen. Lines of sight and things. Uh, so have you had a good look at this? table I, I have i've examined this in detail a uh, quick quick comment about this table this has been set up uh just like this image in the instructions so pretty straightforward everything's pretty clear and foolproof for once we're actually doing what we're told yeah we're in the real game you're pretty much free to do what you want anyway so i'm going to spend a regular order yay I'm going to spend it on this rocot over here okay and this is splitting to two halves isn't it it is so i've got Two, two halves this order. I can either do a short movement skill, such as move, or I can do a short skill, such as shoot. I can move twice, so I can do two short movement skills, but I cannot do two short skills, so I can't shoot twice. So the first half of this I'm going to move, and when I'm measuring movement, I measure from the front of the base to the front of the base. That's so the same spot of the base when you're moving. Two inches, that way, two inches, that's by four inches of movement. I don't believe you have anyone who can see. I don't think My brave Rakot as she runs forward. These large uh, signs are bigger than a silhouette one, so I can't see over the top of them. I'm then going to move again and vault over this little barrier as I run forward. So are you vaulting over the barrier 
uh, because uh, scenery that's shorter than the silhouette one, you can just jump off. You are a trained soldier, so you can jump over. She things. is far more athletic and nimble than I am. Yeah, I, we could we could do I, that. I couldn't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna spend my second order. Okay. Now Who are you spending the second I'm order? I'm gonna spend the second order on the same rocot. Ooh. She's going to move forward four inches to the side of this building. Okay, so I'm starting to wonder if I'm gonna be able to see you. So this guy here can't quite see her yet. Well, the she will half, be coming around that corner very soon. The second half, I believe I can move forward to about there and still not be seen. Now this is where the friendly bit comes. You can come. Uh, you can come a lot further forward than that, sir. Can I? Oh, yeah. Well. And when you're the active player, it's nice. You've got to communicate with the player you're, you're playing I'm with. Still good. You're still good. That's fine. That's the end of my movement. That's as far as I can go. I've got one order left. One order left. I'm going to spend the final order. And, and she's ran all the way forward. She's, she's a stormtrooper, this one. She's had a wee to pick, certainly. She certainly has. And I'm going to spend it on her again, because mm -hmm. it would be foolish not to at this point. She's going to move forward to this corner. Okay. So she is going to have a line of sight to that Aguacile. This, this, this fella can definitely see her. So I get an ARO at this point. Now, Do I get an ARO from this one? No. Now, this is something very important to, to sort of pick up early on. The sequence in Code 1 of I spend, the active player spends the first half of their order, then the reactive player declares any and all AROs, then the active player declares the second half of their order, is a fundamental part, and if you get that part down, the rest of the game works really well. If you start trying to skip that or jump around, it kind of falls apart. So, first half... AROs, second half. Okay, so it is it, now the sequence is I declare what I'm going to do. I've got a couple, a couple of options. Uh, I can shoot you, which very straightforward. I see you, I shoot you. Because uh, I suspect if I don't, you're going to shoot me anyway. Or I can dodge. Now, if I dodge, um, I kind of dive out the way and hide and, and kind of dodge the bullets that are coming. Now, when you're kind of adding up what you want to do later, that might come into uh, effect. So you've always got a couple of options you can do. Now, if I was to shoot back, Storm Shroud will probably shoot me. Or you could pull you to shoot you anyway. Or you could dodge. Now, if I dodged, Storm Shroud could then say move and get into a better position around uh, that fungus farm sign, get into a different position. Now, if she did that, she might get into line of sight at the end of the order, which is never very good. So, to keep this nice and simple, I've seen you. I'm trigger happy. I'm going to shoot you. Okay. With one shot, because... From your combi rifle. Yeah, because it, the way burst works, I am nervously hiding and, and getting ready, and I've just seen you. I don't get my full shots. You, however... I am going to spend the second half of my order to fire my full burst which with my rifle is three shots. I have three dice to, to close one back at you. Yeah, so in ARO, you only get one burst unless it's a special rule. Uh, but when it's your active player, you get your full burst. So we're now going to measure range, which could be important. We are about 10 and a half inches apart. Right. It is important because you've got rifles. I've got rifles. And I've got combi rifles. Now, combi rifles are fine from zero upwards. Shall we have a look at the weapon profile now? Yes. Probably appropriate. <laughs> okay. So I'm using uh, my rifle, which has several traits. So it's got a damage number, which will be the, the, the number that Claw is looking for if I hit him. The B is for burst, which is how many shots I get to fire. So three. The ammo type, so it's just normal ammo. And the saving throw, saving roll attribute, which is armor. So out of armor and BTS, this type of ammunition is resisted with armor. So we've got ammo of normal. Now this is might seem straightforward, but this is a science fiction game, and you can have all kind of weird ammo. You can have viral ammo. You can have plasma and all sorts of things. Saving throw. It's not always against your um, the the bit of plate that's attached to your chest. It could be a uh, electromagnetic weapon that kind of zaps you. So that's why there's an armor there. Uh, and below that we have the range modifiers. So we know we're at uh, ten and a half inches, so we are more than eight. So we're in that range band, that's that nice green chunk. So between eight and between thirty, uh, eight and sixteen. So 
That means I'm going to get plus three to my ballistic skill for the purposes of rolling to hit, which is good. If we look at the Aguasile's combi rifle, we can see that a lot of the traits are the same. It's got the same damage, it's got the same burst, it's got the same ammo type, it's got the same saving throw, but it's range modifier because it's a, a more modern weapon, a more, uh, more advanced piece of kit. It's good range is anything from zero to 16 inches. So the Ariadna have less tech, so our weapons aren't quite as good, but Claw is also going to get a plus three for the range. So next up, we need to work out are we in Okay, so as far as cover goes, I cannot see all your base. You are uh, obscured by this building. You are seeking out, but you are obscured. So you have cover. I have partial cover. You have partial cover. Now this fungus farm barrier is giving me partial cover. But the important thing is I'm touching it. Now you have to be touching um, scenery to get the uh, effect of the cover. So if I was further away, I wouldn't uh, have got the cover from that partial cover. So you have to be touch touching the piece of scenery that gives you the cover. You need to use your imagination a little bit because the, 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 the models represent people who haven't got giant plastic discs glued to their feet. So that Aguasile isn't just stood up behind there. He's probably crouched behind it, taking advantage of the fact that there's a solid piece of metal between him and any incoming bullets. And similarly with the rock art, she's not sticking out as much as she is, she's sticking out as much as she needs to. So, we are both in cover, and that cover bonus gives us a minus three to hit. So, we're in good range, we're both in cover, so we've got plus three for the range, minus three because we're in cover. So, we have a, we, uh, a straight BS attack. So, yeah, we get no bonuses to our ballistic skill, so we are looking for our ballistic skill values. So, I have three dice because of my burst of three, mm. and I'm looking for tens. My uh, ballistic skill is 10. And because it's my reactive turn, I'm looking for a 10? 11. Ooh, you're a better shot than me. Better shot, but I've only got the one shot. You've only got the one dice. Okie dokie. And again, this is going to be a face-to-face -face roll. So, let's get some roll, rolling some dice. Okay, why well, got one dice? Because it's my um, reactive turn. So one dice, one thing, 11s. Six. That's not bad. So I need to get more than six and less than 10. Or, you know, I can roll higher than 10 on all three dice and not hit... I don't think I hit the station. I think I probably hit outer space. <laughs> so, the six was a success. All yours were missing. That means I shot you in your turn. Bonus. Okay, I shot you. Yeah, that, that did not go according to the plan. <laughs> so, I have to make an armour save. I have to make one armour save for every time I was hit. Depending on the type of ammunition. So, in this case, normal ammunition. We have to make one saving throw. The damage of the weapon we looked at before is 13. I've got one point of armour, and we've established I'm in cover, which gives me three bonus points of armour. So I basically roll one dice, and we add add four to it, and we're looking for more than 13. So, or you can take four off, how you want to work it. I basically get to 14 in total, or roll higher, a 10 or higher. Yep. Either way, works out the same. I don't fancy me chances. 50-50. Yeah, but I know what I dice like. Okay, so... I need to get 10 or better. 17. I am still alive. Yay. See? You shot me. Uh, you missed. I missed everything. I'm not sure I, I hit I the station wall, I said. Yeah, I shot you, and but your armour saved you. Yes. Yes. Apparently, um, I, I think the wall saved me, not my armour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure the Kevlar vest is going to do a lot. But I've run out of orders. Okay. So, so that's now the end of my active turn. It's my active it's turn. your active turn. Let's see what I can do in revenge. Revenge? Yeah. Well, defending. I'm defending this outpost from you thugs. I need new dice. Right. Nomads, you've got three orders. I do. I have the big three orders. Um, okay, so what do, I need, what do I need to do? Oh, yeah. I need to, to basically remove you from the board. Now, there's a few things I can do. One is we have... Um, Oh, I'm, you've run up here, so I really want to get rid of her. She's going to be a threat. If, if I don't get rid of her in this turn, you're going to use her to full advantage. So she needs to go. Now, how do I do that? Can you just use him again? Could use him again? It'd be nice if I could get within that eight-inch round. It gives me a bit of a bit more of a bonus. 
you'll have to leave cover to do I'd so. You'll have to leave cover to do so, and that's not a, a great uh, fan because then I would lose my bonus as well. And I don't think four inches would get me anywhere that's within 80, 80 view and you're out of, out of, um, I don't know, maybe. I have a cunning plan. A cunning plan? A cunning plan. So, first step, we're going to spend an order. We are going to spend an order. Um, take measure. I'm sure you said, I'm sure you said take measure. There we go. So, I can move four, four. So my first burst is four. So I'm going to go. You're going to come from front to front. Okay. Now I get to declare an ARO because I have. Hold up. Shall I go a bit further back? Yeah, line right. and sight. Because you've still got cover from there, which is unfortunate. So let's go there. So we still have line of sight. You have left cover though. I, I am going to cover. shoot you as you leave cover. Uh, and I, I'd be in your good range because our yeah. range has changed now. What are you going to do with the second half of your skill? I'm going to shoot you three times. You're going to shoot me three or times? Or should I dodge? I could dodge. Now, if I dodge, uh, you've only got one bullet. I've only got one dodge. Ooh. So in the case of if, if Claude decides to dodge, we'd use the Aguasile's physique to determine its target number. And if he passes the roll, he would allow, be able to move two inches as he dodges closer. So if I successfully dodged, I can then move another two inches, which would then make you out of uh, cover. But, anyway. uh, so what I'm doing, while I've got the advantage of three dice, mm -hmm. I'm going to use those three dice. I would as well. So the range for you is going to be good. I will shoot you when you are in my good range of left cover. So the, so the range is now less than eight. But or, I can shoot you at any point. You can shoot me when I'm over eight and I'm running yeah. over there. So even though I'm less than eight now, because at some point I was over eight, you, get, uh, as the Ariadna player, get to shoot me when it's in your advantage. Yeah, I will. Before my targeting, uh, my optics go a little bit fuzzy, I'll shoot you at that point. So I'll have one dice, and I'll be looking for 13s, because I get plus three for the range, but you don't get the cover bonus. No. And you're going to get your three dice, and you're going to be on... Plus three for the range, but still minus three for the colours. So you're going to have three dice on 11s, mm. and I'm going to have one dice on a 13. Because you are still in cover. I'm still, still slightly covered by the corner. You're, I'm still you're clinging to the against, wall. Pressed up against that wall as much as you can. Okay. You're, you're just taking advantage of the fact that my dice aren't liking me today, aren't you? Uh, yeah. The Ariadne ARO. 13 or less. An 18. See, uh, my dice aren't liking me today. You are scared. So all I need now... 11 or, less. 11 or less which is as a 19 a 3 and a 4 so the 3 and the 4 are successes so because there are two shots i've got to make two two successful hits i've got to make two armor saves and again three points of cover one point of armor i need to get tens or better i'm still alive you are still alive with a 10 and a 14. well done your arm is saving you today <laughs> by some miracle she's still alive she, that, that is a miracle the, 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 the dice are against you but again they're saving you at the same time. They are. So, second order. Second order. And it is a good practice to actually move the orders out of the way uh, when you spend them. Okay, next order, I'm going to spend it on the same... The same Aguacile. Um, four inches. Easily gets me into base-to-base -base combat with that Fungi Farm sign. Okay. And I was less than eight before I started. You were less than eight before you started. You are now no longer in cover. I'm no longer in cover, so this is going to be unpleasant for me. Now, you are going to uh, say what your AR is. At I some am. point I was out of uh, cover, so I don't get the cover bonus at this point. You can dodge. I don't think you've strayed into line of sight of anybody else. No, not quite. So, I'm going to take the... I'm going to shoot you before you get to cover. Because my physique on my rocotte... Is 11. Oh, 11? You're better. You, you're yeah, fit than that. Slight, you're fitter slightly than fitter than you are, but not quite as good a shot. But I'm going to go for the shot and see if I can take you down before you reach cover. Okay. So yeah, you are going to be looking. Because you, we are now in your I'm zero, zero to eight range back. I'm going to get, get a 10 or less. So you, and I'm going to shoot you back three times. And you're going to need 14s or less. Now, I'm, you're, I'm still in my plus three range because I've got a better gun than you. 
Uh, you are not in cover from that angle. I am not. So I get the plus three overall. So I, it's better for me. So I get three dice on 13, so you get one dice on 10. Three dice on 14s. 14s. Oh, yeah, because I'm a better shot than you. You're a better I, keep, shot. I keep forgetting. 10 or less. Oh! 13. Still can't hit the broad side of a barn. Okay, so I need less three dice on less than 14. So the numbers are on my side. So a three, a nice, and a five. A nine and a five. So I don't have the benefit of cover anymore for my armor save, so I've now got to make three armor saves, and I need to get four, uh, 13s. I passed that one. It's a couple of 20s. Passed that one. Two 20s are fine. I fail that one. I have passed unconscious. So she has fallen to enemy fire. She's now unconscious on the floor. And you have one order left. I do have one order left. Now, she's unconscious. Now, if I had an army with a doctor, or you had an army with a doctor, you could come along and fix her and she'd get back up and away she goes. So she's not actually dead dead. But for this game, she's she's dead because nobody's got a doctor. I've got one order left and I'm going to use it. Who are we going to use it on? I'm going to use it on the female... Aguilera. No. Aguasili. Aguasili. And she's going to kind of go to here to the edge of this uh, bit of scenery. And she'll give her line of sight to th this young lady down here. Is that the plan? That was the plan, but I'm, I'm not sure you can do it. We're going to get it. But I'm going to go there anyway. So you're covering that central so corridor. I'm covering that central corridor. Okay. And that's the end of your turn. That's the end of my turn. Yeah, yeah. Killed something. At this point, when you work out how many orders you've got. I do. And I've only got two orders now because... Because you've only got two... Uh, two rock ...alive left. and kicking. Yeah. So you've got two orders. So I, I, I now have less less things I can do. Mm. Which is uh, unfortunate. Yes. I'm covering this central now because I, I move slightly. And I'm, I'm down here as well. So you could run up this side. If you had a lot of movement and orders, but you, your orders are limited now. I don't have the orders to spare to do all that. No. So I'm going to spend an order. Okay. And move sideways. And uh, she's going to move four inches over there. Okay. So you moved where I could see. At some point, you will have been able to see me as I crossed. Definitely. Over. A long way away. Equally. The chap over here will be able to see me as I cross this gap. Oh yeah, so because there's it's a light, there is a line of sight between the edge of the building and line there. Line of sight down there. Okay, so I get two arrows. two arrows. So I've got to announce my arrows now, and they are both going to be to shoot you. So you're going to shoot me with both of them. I am... You're a long way away, but I'm still going to shoot you because shooting's good. I'm going to dodge. You're going to dodge for the second half of mine, which will count against both your shots. Okay, so you roll one dice, and it it it. it Acts against both my shots. Indeed. Yeah. Good thought. So let's make sure some rangers because this is a long way. So, so are, are we over 16? Oh, you're over 16. You're over 24 as well. Oh, okay. So you're, you're over two foot, but you're less than 32. And this fella? This fella is also over 16. He's about 19 inches. Okay. So, how does that affect my rolls? So, the range is for the combi rifle. Because I'm going to shoot you when you're not in cover, by the way, so there's no cover bonus. This is true, there is no cover bonus. But you are over your good range of 16 and less than 32, which means you're at minus 3. Is that you get less accurate the further away you are with the, the combi rifle. Kind of makes sense. It does. Sniper rifle, less so. Sniper rifles are... Yeah, sniper, there are sniper rifles and rocket launchers and all kinds of different weapons in this game. So, uh, yeah, for, for, so, for, for the normal standard... Combi rifle. With a combi rifle, you get less accurate the further away I am. Yeah, so you're so on minus threes. So you're both going to need eights. eights. And I'm going to be dodging on my physique of 11. Okay, so let's roll some dice. Uh, the male... Um, Aguacelli? Aguacelli. I can't say that word. So I'm the, saying it wrong. So yeah, the, the, the male is going to shoot you on an eight. 20. He misses. The female is going to shoot you on an eight. 17. She misses two. I'm going to dodge to see if I get my bonus movement, but I don't have to dodge any bullets, which is a bonus. But I do dodge this time. You dodge. On an eight. Yay. Your dodge gets you to the other side of that board, which I can still see you uh, oh, with, yeah. with this male um, agrocilia. But I am in cover. But I can't shoot you again because I've already shot you. For, yeah. shot you one. So I'm going to spend my last order. Okay. 
the I'm going to put it on the same ricotte. Mm -hmm. She is technically going to move, but okay. she's just going to do the Ariadne shuffle on the spot. Uh, called idle, but you can't. Uh, yeah, in the big game, it's called idle. I think in this yeah. one, it was called move, but not move. So I'm basically just doing a shuffle on the spot. Okay. I then get the ARO. So I'm going. This still looks like it's over sixteen. It's definitely going to be over sixteen. Uh, so we're kind of both at minus sixes, uh, minus threes, three for the rain, yeah. and minus three for the cover. So we're minus sixes. So this this is going to be a low rolling game. You get three dice, I get one dice. So because it's a low rolling game, I'm going to be looking for fives. You're going to need one dice on a five. Yeah. Because, yeah, we're over 16 inches and we get cover. So with that big minus six. Now, but my dodge... Is a ten. Is it? Mm -hmm. So I got. A, there's a larger window for my, for my success on dodging. So I'm going to dodge. Okay. Because it's it's bigger numbers. I am going to shoot you because I'd like to even out the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. But you get three dice. So I get three dice, but I'm going to need fours because yeah. my ballistic skill is not as good. Now we know we're over sixteen inches, but we'll just check the range out of completeness. We are, yeah, still about nineteen inches apart. We're still in cover for both of us. So. Yeah, you've got three six. Yeah, you've got three dice wanting four. Three dice wanting four. I've got one dice wanting tens. Okay, roll low, please roll low. <laughs> okay, so I've got one dice needing ten. Nineteen. I don't dodge. Okay, come on. So fours. A two. A two is a hit. The seven and the fifteen are a miss. Both misses, but there's one lucky hit. shot gets there. Okay, so I'm doing an arm save this time. So again, you have one point of armour. I have one point of armour. You have three points of cover. Which is four. Your The strength of your weapon is 13. So again, I need or better. 10. 20! You're alive! Ping. I have run out of orders again, because I've only got a couple. So it's back over to... So, so I sort it's my back orders. over to the one, nomads. One, two, three. You've still got, still got three? Yeah, I've got three. You, you, you want to rub that in, do you? <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay. So what are we doing with the first of those three orders? Okay, so I can see one of your, your, your not Rotniks. Rakots. Rakots. This young lady down here. I'm going to use the first order. I'm going to do it on the um, Super Marine over here, who's who's doing all the work. Uh, he's going to, again, do a, a move, but not move. He's doing the Nomad Shuffle this doing time. Doing the Nomad Shuffle, making you, um, what is your arrow going to be? Um, now, statistically, I would be better off dodging. But I still need to try and even out these numbers, so I'm going to go for the shot. You're going to go for the shot on a four. On a four. Right, I'm going to use my three dice this time, wanting fours. So, uh, no, Fives. Five. So, I'm a better shot. I've got three shots. The maths says so this one's going to be better, but they're dice at the end of the day. They are indeed. <laughs> okay, so you need a four to shoot me. That'll be a four. Okay, a four. Four. You've got, that is exactly That's... the number you wanted. So, now would possibly be a good time to talk about criticals. Yep. You've got a critical. Well I done. have. So, in face-to-face -face rolls, if one person rolls the number they're looking for, the exact number, that counts as a critical. And a critical is like a trump. It wins the dice roll. So unless Claw now rolls a five on one of his three dice, I have won this dice roll. And in addition to winning a guaranteed win, it also forces an additional saving throw. So if Claw doesn't get a five, he's going to have to make two saving throws for this Aguacile. Okay, so I've, I've got no three pressure. dice. I've got no three dice. pressure. I've got three dice. I can roll fives. Okay, so a five. A four. A four, which normally, normally would have been would wiped have out. They would normally have cancelled my four because they're all the same, but mine's a critical, so it's going to win. And, and in 11, which miss. misses. So I lose by one, but because it's critical, I have to take two, two. armour saves. I'm in cover. So tens or better again. I've got one part of armour, so it's uh, tens or better. Five and a five. Oh, he's reduced he's, to he, negative, so he is off the board. Dead, dead. So her optics work because got you. Yep. That didn't go according to plan. Not quite. Do we have a new plan? We do, but I still got two orders. You left. still got two orders still left. Got two orders left. And I know it's a long way and it's a long shot, but uh, you're out in the open. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend another order. I'm going to spend it on this fella. Yeah. I'm going to go to this side because I think I can still see you. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. So we're both going to be in cover. We're both going to be a long, long way away. Oh, now I know I'm a good shot, but I'd like. Yes, obviously. I'd like to keep her alive for my next turn, so I'm going to dodge this time. You're going to dodge on a bigger number. On a I'm bigger number. To, I'm going to shoot you, and I think the uh, target numbers are still the same. I would imagine so, but we will check the range. Okay. 
Okay, we are now just over two foot. About now, again, with miles. range, when you're measuring range, when you're measuring, is you measure from the front of the base to the front of the base to get the, the shortest distance between them. So, the target numbers for you, you're still going to be at minus six. Yep, so, so, you're, you're going to be on fives, and I'm going to be dodging on an 11. Yes, you're, you're still in cover, you're a long way away, so that's why I'm on minus six. So, I'm still looking for fives. Okay, 11s. Oh no, Ooh, 17. So, so, fives. Oh, a 19, a 14, and an eight. So, so she probably recoiled a bit from the bullets whizzing past her, but she didn't actually dodge, so she doesn't move anywhere. But she doesn't have to make any armor saves because she didn't get shot. One order left. Okay, I'm going to uh, do that again because I really would like you to die. You'd like me to only have one option for my turn. Yeah, because you uh, you failed your dodge. You didn't get back into cover. I can still see you. You can still see me because I didn't dodge. Okay, I'm going to try and dodge again. And so the target numbers won't have changed. I need an 11. You need fives. 11 or less. Three. A successful dodge. So more than three, less than five. It's not a lot, is it? Doesn't give you a big win. Uh, okay, I've got a two, which okay. you, uh, your three beats. I've got a three. Good example. I've got a three that your is same as your, so that's out. And I've got an eight, which misses. So no one dodges. No, no one, one gets does. shot. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Wasting your time. You're out of orders. I am. My turn. And you shot me in my turn. That's not fair. I have two orders this time. You do. You still have two orders. Okay. Let's do some stuff. Okay. I'm going to spend an order. Okay. I'm going to spend it on the other Bracot. He hasn't done anything yet. He needs to earn his pay. He does. He's going to go two inches this way, two inches forward. As I look down, I couldn't see a thing from that side. I don't see a thing from that side. So, there, I do not have any arrows from that. Okay. Now, I'm thinking, I think I'm going to be okay moving to here without being seen. Does that get you into cover? Not quite. Oh, okay. I don't think either of you can see me at the moment. Uh, this one can't. There's a big solid board in the front of that one. And this one can't. I'm going to spend the second order second on order. the same ricotte. I'm going to move up so I'm in cover. Okay. And then move sideways. Oh dear. I think we, we can, can just other. about see each other. We're both in cover. We're both far away. So I get to, um, you know what? That was your last order. I'm going to dodge. I'm going to shoot you back with three shots from my rifle. Okay, so I'm on tens. You are. Let's have a look at the range. Are we over 16 inches? We are over we 16 are over inches. 16, so see. I'm on minus three for the range, minus three for your cover. So I'm on fours again. But I do have three dice. I'm on tens again because that's what my dodge is. My physique. Okay, as she rolls for cover. 17. No, she doesn't. She rolls into the sign. That three is a hit. It's a success. So oh, the no. 11 and the 12 both miss, but they have clipped you. You got me as, as, as I did so again, a, a, a forward roll. 10 <laughs> or better. Okay, so your weapon is 13. Uh, I've got one armor, taking it down to uh, 12. I've got cover for three, taking it down to nine. So I need to beat nine, nine, which is a 10. 15. You're Ping. still alive. Yeah. You've got two okay. orders. I'm down to two orders now. Now this, game, this scenario carries on until one of us has no models left. Okay, so it could go on for a long time. Or it could end this turn, depending or on how your dice go. Yeah. Because you could just shoot uh, the, the two uh, the two rockets I have. I could, because we, we can see all see each other. We can all see each other. What Oops. do we want to do? Now, I'm going to do something that's a little bit... Dubious. Dubious. Not, not dubious. But it's a thing. Okay, I can currently see you. You can. So as soon as I move or do anything, you get an ARO. Correct. Because you are looking at me at the start. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I'm going to move. You're going to, to, you're going to run away. To there. So four gets me to there. Now, I'm not in your line of sight now. But I can shoot you as you run away. Also, I can shoot you. Before you move Before off. Before I move off. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but at any point during my movement, I would shoot it. You basically fire a burst and then roll roll away into cover. So it, it, it's, now, what do I want to do? Do I want to shoot or do I want to dodge? I know I'm going to need fours. You're going to need fives. You know what? I'm going to dodge. You're going to dodge? Yeah, I'm okay. going to try and stay alive. I'm, shooting, I'm going to shoot you three times. So, I'll need an 11, and we know the range from last time. You're going to need 5, because you get minus 3 for the range, minus 3 for the cover. 11 or less to dodge? An eight. 8. 
So I have dodged. Now you can't, you get your three dice, you can't beat an eight. But I can get a crit. But you can get a crit, so you need fives. I'm looking for fives. A one, a 17 and a three. So you have uh, not hit me. Not hit you. But you successfully dodged. So yeah, I get two inches you get of movement move. of dodging. So you're moving in my turn. I am moving in your turn. Okay. Now I get to you get to measure how far your move will take you before you commit. So two inches won't get me to that building. So I'm going to go this way and stay in cover of this sign. Okay. So let's go to my second order. So last order for the nomads, which is you know there's not a lot. So there's only two orders. <laughs> So I'm going to spin it onto this woman again. She's going to jump over the edge of that. And go there. Does that give her line of sight to anybody? No. Not as far okay. as I can see. I wouldn't have said so either. There's too much in the way. Mm -hmm. What we do with the second half of that order? The second half of the order, I'm going to volley over that. And run up here. And I'm going to face the. I'm going to face the wall. So that you can see round both sides. Now with facing, I can see that way and I can see that way. So anybody comes around, oops, anybody comes around this way, I can see them. Anybody comes around this way, I can see them. So I'm facing the wall. Facing is important. So something that hasn't come up so far is all Infinity models have a 180 degree facing. So if we look at these ones on the side, it's, it, the, it's why you have those little triangles and the line that denotes the front of the base. And the back of the base is easily just painted black. Now that means that models can only see in their front 180 degree arc normally. Um, so that's why Claw is making a special case or special point of ensuring I can't sneak up and shoot him in the back. Because you do that. If you watch the rest of the channel, you see he does that a lot. As do you. <laughs> okay, so I have one dice to me weapons. 16, I miss. 10 or less. A 15, a 12, I'm um, no, uh, misses, but a 1, you've hit me on a 1. So, does your armour save you again? Okay. Beat a 9, so 10 or better. A 10? Oh, just! Just! It's, it's going to leave a bruise, that one, but I'm alright. It's going to... We swing back to the Nomads with their two orders. He's bruised. He is. He's, he's got nasty bruise. So, as you can see, this first scenario can go on for a while, but it does help to reinforce the basic mechanics of the game. So, what are we doing with these orders? Okay, so I think he's pretty good as an ARO piece. Now, what we, I mean by that is, if I leave him there, as soon as you, you move him or her, he's going to get a shot or a dodge or something. Indeed. Equally, if you activate him, he is going to get shot by both of them. Yes, yeah, so if I do anything, this guy gets a, an ARO, can shoot me, and that lady over there can shoot me, so I'd get two shots back. So the advantages of leaving him well alone, I think I will. Okay, this, this woman over here, this young lady over here, this young lady over there can kind of wander around quite peacefully, quite nicely, and get herself into the best position, which is exactly what she's going to do. So she's going to go for any arrows. Strangely, no, I have no arrows to that. And uh, another four, which kind of gets me to here. Okay, still can't do anything about that. Okay, and this is where facing would have come in because the, the next order. If you were looking at the wrong place, I could have shot you in the back of the head and you didn't see, couldn't see it coming. But your facing is okay. Now, so the first half is going to be move. And I'm going to go to here. So you stay in cover. So I stay in cover. Now I can't see that one, but I can certainly see that one. Oh no, she's yes, she's got a nice solid object between her and you. Okay. Now, are you popping around a little bit further? And I think if you move a little bit further, you'll be able to get me out of cover and stay in cover yourself. Oh, that is a bonus. I'll so, do that, definitely. Okay. Uh, I'm going to dodge because you're going to be in my bad range right now. That's less than eight, I think. Yay. So I would be hitting you on sevens, or I could dodge on an 11. I'm going to choose to dodge on an 11 rather than shoot on sevens. Okay, well, it is my good range, so I get plus three for the range. Plus three for the range. You, you're not, not in, in cover. cover. So it's plus on 14. 14 on three dice. This is how you kind of stack the dice to get in your favour. Okay, so your dodge. 11 or less. A six. Okay, more so than six. More less than, than 14. Okay, more than six. So, so that the four. 17 is a miss. Yep. The four is beaten by the six. So a 12. He's in the sweet spot. Beats my six, so I get hit once. I don't have any cover, so I need to get a 13 or better. 
Oh no, I'm Two. unconscious. I should do the back of the head. My brave uh, Rakot has fallen to enemy fire. Which means as we go into my turn, I've got one lonely order for one lonely Rokot. Who can be seen by Insta that one. Instantly by this one. So whatever you do, I'm going to get an arrow. Right oh yeah. Okay, so you've got one order. I am looking at you down this length. So whatever you do, I'm probably much going to get an arrow. Well, let's spend the order. You're spending order, and you're spending it on that one. Yeah, shock, shock that. She's going to move to the other side of the sign to get line of sight to okay, the so lady with blue hair. I definitely get an arrow when you, you start two talking. arrows. So this guy, it's a long way away, but he's going to shoot you. He's seen you. He's shooting you. It's fair enough. This lady, she's got options now. I, if I, I can shoot you. I'm at good range, I would think, because that's You'd less than... Almost certainly yeah, a good range. range. Plus three. I'm going to be minus three for your cover. So I'm going to be shooting you on 11s. Now, I could think about the next turn by saying dodge. Now, if I dodged, I could easily get behind that caution sign, ready to be in cover next time. Or if you kill me, there isn't a next turn and you win. Or if I kill you, yeah. If I kill you, <laughs> it's over. Um, so I'm going, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to shoot you. Uh, I'm going to shoot you with both of them. So they're both taking a single shot at me. So you, at some point, saw both of them. So but I could use my burst and split it between the two. Unfortunately, I can't see both of them at any one point in my movement. If you're going to shoot, if you're going to split your burst, you have to be able to pick a point in your movement where you can see all the targets. So I'm going to ignore the guy far away. I'm going to hope he misses. <laughs> Fives, five, it's 25% chance of a shot. Yep. And I'm going to put all three shots into the lady with the blue hair. Okay. So range wise, I think we're about a foot apart, something like that. About eleven inches. Yeah, so we're, we're both in good range. You are not in cover from this angle. No, because, because I, I I took the to advantage. Shoot my mate. Yeah, I took the advantage before. So I'm gonna have three dice needing thirteens. Yep. You're gonna have one dice back needing an eleven. Okay, now there are two different types of rolls in this one. I don't think we've had an unopposed roll yet. No, we haven't had any normal rolls yet. Okay, so this one is the face to face or face to face. Now this one I'm rolling a dice and you're not doing anything to... So either you hit me or you miss me. So, yeah, this, this one... I can't a... affect the outcome of that shot at all. Yeah, so... Um, should we do that one first? Yeah, right. Was I right to ignore the guy far away? Okay, so I've just got a hit. You've just got a hit. I've just got a hit. So, one to five. Nine. Darn. I was right to ignore him. <laughs> now the face-to-face -face one. You've got one dice needing an 11. Okay, one dice needing an 11. 16. 16, I miss. Three dice needing 13s. Oh, wow. Ooh, ow, ow. A seven, a four, and a three. So I've hit her three, three times. Hit. Oh. And she's only got her armour of one, yeah. so she needs 13s on all three dice. Because it's the value of the weapon, and I've got the, it's the value of a weapon of three, uh, 13. I've got armour of one, which takes it down to 12. I need to beat 12, so it is 13. 13s or more. Okay, the 18 is a success. Superb. The 6 and the 11, however, are less than 13. She dies, dies. So, got her. Was it still worth it to stick out and maybe? <laughs> so, we now have one model left each, and we're into a bit of a uh, long-range shootout. So, so this is probably going to be a quick... Quick turns for quick a while. Quick turns for a while, because we, we need to get into position, and we need to stay out. I need to stay out of your line of sight, but get into a, a better fives. Fives is a long time. So, let's uh, spend the order. Well, we can't see each other at the moment, so you're safe to move wherever you like for your first half. So, four gets me to roughly there. Okay. You can't see me, so no. I'm four to... In fact, let's go that way around. Because I can't leap over that one, because it's, it's higher a bit, than a three. It's a bit taller than you. So that's that. That's me done. Okay. Uh, out in the open. Great, I can't take advantage of it. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some moving myself. One order. One lonely order. Yep. I'm, I'm going to spend it on the young lady with the blonde hair back here. The, 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 the hero who shot the uh, mad lady running around the corner. I'm going to move four across here. Okay. I've got a feeling you're coming for me. I'd like to try and stay slightly further away if I can. So I'm going to spend the second half to move to there so I can see down that central corridor. So you're in cover as well. I'm in cover, waiting for you to come to me. Okay. So one lonely nomad order. One lonely nomad order. Now, my plan was to kind of go that way, but you've kind of come over here. So if I come to there... Is that 16 inches? I think we're we'll close. Be over 16 inches of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go slightly different. Change of plan. So spend the order. 
I'm going to go this way. Puts me there. Now, bodies and stepping over bodies. I ah, just stand on me. We just, yeah, we've always just played kind of going over the top of you, so that puts me. Hurdle my unconscious corpse. Okay. You're, you're, you're pushing up to attack. And can I? I think I might be able to. Let's see if we can. Get your order. Right. I'm going to move four inches. Okay. Um, I, I, I feel I'm being the aggressive one and you're being the, the cautious one. I can see you there. You can see me? Yeah. Um, oh, no. Now, but I think the range is probably better there. So I think there's less than uh, 16. I would say that's less than 16. I think it's less than well, 16. What are you going to do? So I'm going to shoot you. You're going to shoot me? Yeah, I'm still in cover because I'm yeah, hugging you're... the side of the building. Even though I'm, it's, it's kind of weird, but I'm still hugging the side of the building. You just have a giant plastic disc loose with feet in reality. She's, she, yeah, and uh, she's in cover. So I think I'm going to shoot you on an okay. 11. I'm going to shoot you back with my rifle because I think I'm in good range. And we are, we're at about 13 inches. Okay, good guess. So I get three dice on 10s. I get you one get dice, one dice 11. on 11. The aggressive nomad player which is me, is going to shoot you on an 11. A two, a success. More than two, less than 10. Okay. So the 16 is a miss. The 12 is the a 12 miss. 12 is a miss. The 10 is another critical. It's another critical. So okay, that so means you make two armor saves. You definitely win. Okay. So I'm in cover, which gives me three. I've got the one point of armor, which is another four. So that takes it to 14 or the other way. Is down 10 to or nine. better. So it's 10s again. Oh no! A nine and a four. Dead, dead. Okay, so I died. I've been aggressive and I died. But the numbers were there, better. There, there was a heavy toll though for the Ariadnans. We lost two thirds of our troops. Yes. The criticals helped. The criticals did help. <laughs> so, that's mission one. We've covered pretty much, I think, everything that the rule books talks about regarding orders, AROs, etc. The only thing we didn't do was close combat. Okay. Because we didn't get close enough for, for a close combat attack. We'll, I'm sure at some point in one of the missions coming up, that will get covered. Okay, but essentially? Essentially, it's very similar to Ballistic Steel. You get into face-to-face -face contact, you use your close combat stat rather than your Ballistic Skill, and it becomes a face-to-face roll with the highest player winning. And you can still dodge and all do all that kind of thing you as well. Do, yeah. And you can shoot people as you run towards them. You can. And I say, yeah. Hopefully it'll come up in one of the other games. And um, if you've enjoyed this, stick around. We're going to do the second mission and then the third, the fourth, the fifth, and then we'll play another game, a proper game of Code War. Okay. And on that, uh, well, thank you for watching. Take care and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It all helps to keep us motivated and raises the profile of our channel and Infinity the Game, bringing it to a wider audience. And don't forget, if you're so inclined, you can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.